Hello everybody, this is John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this episode. This is the, uh, the much uh, anticipated third part of the Rossville Citywide Garage Sale uh, finds. The cream of the crop, the best things I found in my six days in rural Indiana, going to antique malls, uh, various indoor flea markets, Goodwills, and then the important thing was the actual flea, or the garage sales themselves, which are, you know, incredible. And uh, I'm wearing my new thrifted sweater. My, my girlfriend said it looks like all she can see is the Last Supper. And I said it was like the Last Supper if there were like 12 Stewie Griffins. Like, look at this sweater. This is a vintage, like, skiing sweater. It was $2.50, so... Felt Christmassy and what the hell, right? Let's get to this haul because it is massive, as I've said many times before. We'll start with this. I love a good unburnt candle. Man, I've got a collection of them. I'll probably do a show on this one day. But this awesome desert scene is way cool. Not burnt. Uh, 90s, I think. Early 90s. 91 or something. Still got the old tagger on it. This was a dollar... And I'm going to get about 15 bucks for it because of the uh, beautiful cactus and just the colors great. Dollar to 15. I just made 14 bucks. Easy peasy. This was $3 at the Goodwill. Man, these uh, carved Siamese cats from the Philippines. Highly recommend picking them up. If you can find them, they come in all kinds of sizes. This is the smallest one available. They go up to like this. This was three bucks. I'm gonna sell it for seventeen bucks, eighteen bucks, maybe a little, maybe twenty. Could achieve twenty. Cats are hot, especially the Siamese with the the long necks and all that. That's very popular, very popular. Uh, this a dollar fifty, right there. Garage sale prices a dollar fifty for this awesome green. All the gold is intact. Uh, real nice. Probably a twenty three dollar uh covered jar great color optimum optimal color you want greens and oranges as we've said many a time oh look at this beautiful teapot not marked great 60s look four bucks you know i liked it if i paid four dollars for it but it's got a fantastic 60s kind of vibe perfect condition uh, I don't really know. I didn't, like I said, I've just pulled this stuff out of these boxes. I haven't researched this at all. It wouldn't surprise me if this was, uh, designed by someone, uh, of note. But, uh, this is four bucks. I'm gonna say minimum, without even knowing who, uh, made it. I'm gonna say it's a $24 teapot, just on look alone. And I'll get it. It's a very nice... Very nice, weird-looking, mid-century teapot. Okay, speaking of times gone by, how many people remember Shakey's Pizza? I do. I had a birthday party there. I still have pictures of me, my kindergarten birthday party at Shakey's Pizza with my friends. Uh, this is a nice uh, picture. It's $4. Perfect condition. None of the... Uh, None of the paint wore off. I probably will get 25 bucks for this if I decide to sell. Remember, I'm a collector too. I like weird stuff, and especially stuff that makes me nostalgic. I think you could throw your peanut shells on the floor to Shakey's Pizza, if I'm not mistaken. They'd give you those little styrofoam uh, barbershop quartet hats. Uh, this, good times, for sure. Now, next thing I found uh, were two cameras this is the iconic uh polaroid land camera um well this pops out and uh it's got the instruction manual in there heavily covered in dust but the reason i bought it was 10 it said 10 bucks this other camera is called a herco imperial now this is a much well they're both fairly common cameras but they are vintage this one's probably worth about 30 bucks. This Herco, uh, you know, you're looking at probably 15 to 20. Uh, on eBay, they're 15 plus shipping. So, you know, I might be able to get 20, 25 bucks for the Herco. 
30 for this. I got them both for $15. Uh, I was under the impression that this land camera was a more expensive camera, but it really isn't. Um, yeah, here we go. That activated. Yeah, it really isn't that rare. You can find them online. The problem is shipping on eBay, but uh, this is, you know, probably get 30 bucks for this. And, the re and one of the reasons I bought it is because the battery compartment was immaculate. There's a battery compartment right there in the back, and it's in perfect condition. So this is probably works. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, but I'll let a camera guy figure this out. I know they go for about $30. Um, all right. Now, next thing I found at the Goodwill in... Man, I wish I remembered. I'm going to journal next time and find out. But you can see it's got the Goodwill tags. These are 99 cents. These Heller plates. Uh, probably 1970s. Uh, very hard plastic. The set of six of these probably goes for around 20, 24 bucks. I paid a dollar a piece. I paid six. So, you know, not great profit, but also nothing to sneeze at. You know, we're not, uh, not going to sneeze at it at making, you know, 17 bucks, whatever. Um, I found these, these are fantastic. These playing cards are amazing. I found this one for five. And I didn't want to pay it. And no sooner did I find this for five, I found these for 75 cents each. Full sets of owl playing cards. Hallmark, I believe. But I just love the colors to these. And, uh, you know, I think these are probably 15 bucks, 10 and 10. So, you know, I've got six bucks in all of them. I'll probably make 40 bucks off the, or, you know, close to 40 bucks off these playing cards. Great. This one still has the original case and everything. I mean, they're all in their original case, but cool. Super cool. Um, also buying something for myself, perhaps. Did I pay $9 for Mr. Sharpie? You better believe I did. This was, I was really on the fence about this. A working a uh, pencil sharpener called Mr. Sharpie. Uh, I checked the prices on eBay. Uh, I paid nine bucks for this in an indoor uh, flea market. Nine bucks? I, I you really had a hard time dropping nine on this, but for some reason, I just love the little image of Mr. Sharpie. And uh, it's, you know, functional. I can use this to sharpen pencils. You ever need a pencil sharpened? How do you do it? Well, Mr. Sharpie will help you. The goat of pencil sharpeners. Speaking of goats, um, I found this, and I don't, I don't know if Michael Jordan's the goat. I'm not here to debate that. I'm a Magic Johnson guy myself, but uh, this is called Trophy Treats from 1996. It is a uh, bust of Michael Jordan from Space Jam, 19, released in 1996 trophy treats. This was a buck. I thought it was going to be worth a little more money. I thought it was going to be worth about 20 bucks, but these go for about 10 on eBay, 15. Um, some people are trying to get 20 and 30 bucks a piece for them, uh, but they still have the gum in them. So I'm thinking I'll probably get between 10 and 15 bucks for this. I paid a dollar for it. Uh, it's just a kind of a cool, rare, not even rare, uh, just a cool, like, unusual, I guess is the word I'm searching for. Uh, an unusual Michael Jordan collectible. Michael Jordan hot. Always sells. Slam dunk. 12, 15 bucks. All right. Now, some things border on vintage. I mean, they're vintage to some people. This wouldn't be vintage to me, but it would be vintage to a young person. Um, my girlfriend, who is so clutch in these situations... You know, I was at some other house, and no sooner did I get to the house that she was looking at, that she goes, "Honey, do you want this for? Do you want this for two dollars?" Yeah. Uh, it's not terribly old. It's from the '90s, kind of a reissue. But these tapestries sell very well. I've had the real old ones that sell for forty or fifty bucks. This is probably in the twenty-five. 
to $30 range. I'm going to see if I can get the name on it and the date. Ah, uh, I think it's got it on there. I mean, it's not, it would not be considered vintage to me, but it'll still sell for $25, $30. A nice Zeppelin tapestry. Led Zepp, the mighty Zepp. Paid two bucks, you know, sell it for $25, $30. Um, one of the nicest things I found in this excursion was this planter. Man, oh, Manischewitz. Look at that freaking planter. It's got some Native American vibes. Some, uh, you know, definitely Native American. Um, but it's, I'm not saying it's, you know, old or anything, but... Uh, it is made in Taiwan, probably 60s or 70s. I love the look of this. I actually went back, uh, she wanted like $7 for this, and I walked away from it, and, um, because she wouldn't go down to five, and I eventually just said, you know what, I'm taking this home with me. I love the way this looks, so to me, it's a $30, uh, pot holder, plant holder, um, Beautiful, beautiful design, old, have not researched it. it. Like I said, it does have a name, um, Brew, Drew, D-R-U, and I'm going to, again, I'll get into all this stuff, this, I'm trying to show the haul in its entirety, and this is the final stages of this haul, look at this, this is from, oh geez, it's got, it's on there. It's written look at this i just did not prepare but this is etched this is a ceramic etched and look at the detail on this not sure how old it is but this is all just like etched in there it's you know fantastic work this was two bucks I, i'm thinking this is probably 25 30 bucks all day long with just the amount of does say san juan on the bottom i believe so, yeah, hard to say. It doesn't have a date on it, but as far as just pure, uh, the way it looks, amazing for two bucks. Speaking of that, trust your instincts, folks, if you're out there thrifting and junking. I found this. This was my biggest, probably, find, like, this was $15. And, again, hand-blown, you can tell, because it's got the pontal thing. And it almost looks like it says... B-L-E-N-K, and then there's this divot, like it says Blinko, but I can't say for certain this is Blinko. Blinko, to my knowledge, has a sticker, and the sticker can be peeled off, and you'd never know it was Blinko. Uh, but this is definitely hand-blown glass. Uh, I would say, based on the, the scuffing and the wear on the bottom, um, it looks like it might be 60s. Or 70s, probably 60s, uh, like a bubble vase. I paid $15 for this. I must have had money burning a hole in my pocket because I think it's only worth about 35 or 40 bucks. But uh, I thought at the time I might just hold on to it and keep it uh, because I like colored glass. I think it's uh, always sells. I've had all, always had good luck with it. Now, um, we are in the final stages of this haul. Some electronics to get to. Boombox. Not the desirable Sony brand. Now you want if you're gonna find a boombox, and this isn't even a big boombox, but uh this is made by Realistic, which is the uh what Radio Shack version, but it works. AM FM tape player. I'm gonna get about $25 for this. This was two bucks. This little tape player boombox. Also the AM FM radio with cassette now i don't even know what this is for but i would assume if you wanted to record songs off the radio you could do that so this would be a mid to late 80s item made by general electric and it works everything works uh i didn't check the alarm but the tape player and the radio and the the clock um and this was two dollars or this might have even been a dollar i don't even remember what we paid for this but uh, we wouldn't have paid a lot for it, but uh, again, this is definitely my girlfriend said, hey, we should get this. Uh, it's just sitting there, grab it, 
and we did. So I'm going to say probably, it's probably 18, 20 bucks, right around there, maybe 15, but I, I'm going to try to ask 18, 20 bucks. Uh, and it I might, might even surprise me to find out what this thing is actually worth. Okay, who likes art? Let's get into it. Real art. I'm talking oil on canvas. Kind of an Asian-influenced crane thing. Anyone want to check the price on this? <laughs> ten cents. That's right. Ten cents for an original oil on canvas. I can't read the name. It's down there. Very faint. Uh, it's probably 20 bucks, maybe 15, 20 bucks. And I think that would be cheap. It's a good looking original painting. Here is an overpay, $3.99. And I say overpay because there's no glass in this. I'm going to have to reframe this, which won't be difficult. But uh, $3.99, owls always sell. So I'm, I'm looking at probably, once I get a good frame, 16 bucks for the owl. Um, and what, what flea market purchase would be complete without some adorable yarn art? Look at this raccoon popping his head out. And, uh, these are bees. He, maybe he doesn't want to come out, uh, because he's afraid to get stung. But I mean, this guy, good looking <laughs> piece of yarn art, good size. This was two bucks. I'm thinking like, uh, probably, again, I live between that 15 and $20 number. So this is probably right in there, probably 17, something like that. Cute, uh, yarn raccoon. <clears throat> Speaking of art, we're still in it. This is not original art. This is mass produced, but it's not without its... It's not without its charm. They, these are Sirocco. We've talked about the plastic Sirocco. Now, these come two different ways. These come uh, plain, like you see, and this is green. But they also come with the animals and the people painted. And we've got the painted version in our house. So we recognize these immediately because me and my girlfriend love these. And these were a dollar for the pair. A dollar. These probably go. These probably go for around thirty bucks for the pair, and that's even on eBay. Um, these are a real easy sell because it's like that tree of life thing, very nineteen sixties. And uh, we snatch these up for a dollar for the pair of Sirocco. Somebody commented recently and said that if something was Sirocco before nineteen sixty eight or something, they were designed by her father. I want to know more. I want to know more about you, lady. Tell me about your dad and, and all his design work at Sirocco. Did he design this? I don't know. Comment again. I saw your comment. Um, this was a great one. We're almost, we're almost done here. This was an impulsive buy, no doubt. But I'd never seen one before. And I think it is like some kind of uh, potholder-y thing. Uh, from the 1960s. This was eight bucks, no discount, eight dollars. But uh, I think me and my girlfriend both agreed that it was probably a $30. Uh, believe it or not, yeah, this giant, you will ne you'll probably never see another one of these. Um, hand done, 60s, maybe early 70s, but that's as far as I would say. And it is a beaut, eight bucks for the owl. Yeah, super weird, super unusual. I'm going to ask 30 bucks for it. Make 20 bucks off of that owl. All right. Probably the favorite thing I found of the trip. Personal collection. Let's go. This hilarious Snoopy wall hanging. Uh, it is a, a bulletin board. This was in a booth of someone that had a lot of Snoopy stuff, stuff, so I assumed it would be expensive. Because most of the time, if you see someone that has a lot of one thing, they value it more than another person would. So I expected this to be $15 or something like that. It was 5 bucks, And the keep off the grass, uh, funny for so many reasons. And um, 
yeah, five dollars American, and uh, I think it's worth probably twenty five. Uh, I haven't looked on eBay to see if there's another one, but these, what I do know about these uh, is they deteriorate and, and usually when you find them, they're in terrible shape. They've been poked with holes and everything. This one is immaculate and that's why I would say 25. Uh, so $20 profit. Should I decide to sell? And honestly, I think I'm going to, you might see it in my, you might see it back here one of these days. So that was a, one of my favorite favorite finds from the Rossville end of summer days um and we're down to just two more things I think uh well three things you gotta trust me on this you gotta trust the process everybody this is this is the last 20 minute video I'll ever do I swear um anybody know what these are these are uh a set of six and six glasses and this lady had high prices on all of her stuff at her garage sale. Everything was high priced. And, she, and I saw these and I didn't even ask. They didn't have a price on them. So, and I didn't ask because I figured, well, if everything else is expensive, these are going to be really expensive. Like I thought she'd probably ask $30. And uh, I hesitated and hesitated. And like we were about to leave and I, I figured what would it hurt to just find out what she wants for them. I go, how much for the box of glasses? And she goes, five dollars. Um, these are signed, and you can see that. Keep an eye out for these Culver. It says Culver right there, and and I'm not sure if it's this particular glass, but they were known for putting actual gold leaf or uh, gold in the paint. So these could turn out to be really really high dollar like i said i have not researched this just yet i wanted to get this whole uh this whole haul behind me but the their minimum six and six they're worth a hundred bucks and i paid five for them they could be worth a, a double that i mean literally uh these culver glasses i see the sale prices are crazy for these so uh keep an eye out for the culver little signature and it's hard to you know, it's not that noticeable. You've got to really kind of, you know, really pay attention. So there's six of each. I'm going to get a hundred bucks minimum off of five. Now we're going to find out in real time if this next item survived the trip from Indiana to Maryland. Because I found, this is like a box opening, really. I found this. Oh no, for five dollars in someone's front yard. Oh boy, I hope we. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. We're good. We packed this very well. And it did survive. Stained glass. I don't know how to hang this. Uh, uh, if you have any ideas on how to hang a stained glass. But this was five bucks. And I will always buy something like this for five dollars in someone's front yard. Wow, that's some buying power. That's why that's why you lift all them weights. That's why you go to these these city-wide garage sales. All right, we're down to our last thing and this is one that I I don't want to say I feel bad about it, but I got a heck of a deal. Uh now this is a lamp that's got um a very Art Deco industrial vibe. Uh, this was made by a company called Dazer, D-A-Z-O-R, lighting. And this is a super heavy industrial lamp. Um, this was marked $10. I asked him if he would take seven for it. But I asked him knowing that this is a $75 lamp. I mean, this is really heavy. And if you're looking for a vintage desk lamp that, that works, 
Man, this is a $75 lamp all day long, and I got it for 7 bucks. Which, you know, look, I could have given him 10 bucks. That's what he had priced. But I always, you know, I try to feel someone out to see if they'll come down off the price. So, 7 is what I got it for. And I felt a little weird about dickering over the price of a something that's already a good deal sometimes uh, but i still do it out of instinct i will always say hey would you do it can you do any better on this because oftentimes there's wiggle room i spent 119 dollars on everything 119 and when it's all said and done through my booths through ebay through facebook marketplace i'm looking at 700 dollars off of everything you just saw 700 off of a hundred uh, and anyone can do this. You can, uh, if you have uh, a phone, if you have a car, if you have Google Lens, anyone can research this stuff and get in there and make a profit and extra money. And uh, I just wanted to show you that haul. I want to thank you for watching Mid Mod Money and sticking through the three part series of the Rossville End of Summer Days. We'll have a brand new haul next week. Thanks for tuning in. And also our winning uh our winner last week is from Toledo, Ohio. So thanks for oh, I wrote her name down. Anyway, thanks for uh watching Midmon Money and remember to always round up.